Hi, I'm Travis Lemoyne with Siler GeoDrones. We've had quite a few requests for a workflow to use a Trimble R10 GNSS receiver and a DJI Phantom 4 RTK. We've done some testing with great results, so in this video we're going to show you how to make those connections happen. From the home screen on the P4 RTK remote controller, click on the top three lines for the menu, then the little gear for general settings. Scroll all the way down to Android system settings, and then click on Wi-Fi. If you're not already connected to the R10's hotspot like I am, then go ahead and do so now. We need to know the IP address of the hotspot, so we're going to need to click on the three dots in the top right. Then we're going to click on Advanced and scroll down to the IP address of the remote controller itself. Now, all we really need to know are the first three groups of the IP address, and we'll assume that the R10 is the number one in that group. So now we're going to back out and go to General Settings, and then click on Apply to All. And then we're going to go into the browser window. So with the browser window up, we're going to navigate to the IP address we just noted, 192.168.142.1. Now let's go ahead and click on the link to show the classic web GUI for the R10. We're going to click on the receiver status and position to see that our receiver is connected to satellites and giving us a position. You could be doing this inside without satellites, but obviously you wouldn't be getting any satellite information here. So let's head over to the receiver configuration now and set up the accurate known position and antenna height. Our antenna height here is going to be 1.84 meters. Note that when you tap on the box, the keyboard might obscure your view. Just start typing and it'll come back. We'll also want to update our antenna measurement method, and in this case, we used the bottom of the quick release. We'll just click that drop down and pick the one that's relevant. Now we're going to say OK and we're going to go to the reference station under receiver configuration and put our position information in there. So we're going to click the here position because it's going to make inputting the position quicker and easier. Rather than having to type everything in, I'm just going to have to change a few decimal digits in the seconds column. Now let's go ahead and change the reference latitude. Now we'll change our longitude. And then lastly, we're going to change our ellipsoidal height here. So some people like to put in an orthometric height, uh, but we advocate a different strategy because it's the right thing to do. Um, and by using the ellipsoidal height, uh, we'll, or I'm sorry, we'll update the ellipsoidal height information uh, in each photo location to the correct elevations that are going to be adjusted by a, um, the geoid. We use a utility we created called Geophoto to do this. So we said OK to set the position. Now we're going to actually configure the net end trip connection information. So we'll click on port configuration, and then we're going to select end trip caster 1 in that first drop down box. We're going to leave our port set as 2101. We're going to click the enable box. And then we're going to type in identifier information. I don't know if the identifier and the country are required, but I'm just going to put something in there um, to make sure that uh, if, if they happen to be, we're, we're not going to get any errors by leaving them out. So the mount point RTCM32MP, you might just want to go ahead and copy that. This is actually important information when we configure the GSRTK application. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm uh, going to enable RTCM output, and I'm going to set this to version 3.2 because that's what's going to be compatible with the Phantom 4 RTK. All right, we're all set with this configuration. We click OK, and then we're just going to verify in the I.O. configuration that RTCM underscore V3 is showing up in the output for the protocol. 
so it looks good. It's red because we don't have a connection right now. But if the P4RT connect K were connected, it'd be green. So I backed all the way out here and I clicked on the fly button. And now I'm going to tap on the three dots up in the top right to bring up the uh, configuration settings. And now I'm going to click on the RTK uh, group. So the IP address went real quickly there. Uh, port is 2101, admin is the username, and password, all lowercase, is going to be the password. The mount point coming up next here is going to be RTCM32MP. You might have copied this in an earlier step. You could go ahead and paste that in here uh, if you wanted to make it easier. And we'll say next to that. And now everything's good here. So it should automatically connect because we're already connected to the hotspot with the R10. Uh, and once it's connected, we should see the seated position that we put in, uh, now in decimal degrees instead of degrees, minutes, seconds, uh, in the latitude, longitude, and altitude. Um, we've already got a fix. We can see the uh, standard deviations have dropped in the position information. We should also see that it shows a fix up in the main screen of the P4RTK. So as you can see, there's quite a few steps to it, but that's all there is. So if you've got any questions, hit us up in the comments or send us an email at emergingtech at Thanks for watching.